Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Adeptus Sororitas, or Sisters of Battle, Battle Sanctum. It's in this whopper of a box right here. It's a big, big box. It's a thick one, guys. It's the, the thickest, biggest Sisters of Battle box I've received so far. Uh, just put it in perspective. Here is a Rhino box and it is, I think in my unboxing of, of lots of the other sisters it's one of these um, plus two uh, repentia um, together uh, basically that's that's some idea of uh, how big this thing is it will set you back 65 pounds which is a lot of money but I will compare that price very shortly with some other uh, 40k scenery on Games Workshop's website it says it contains six frames of plastic terrain so you've got six frames in here to build two brand new terrain pieces which are compatible with the Sector Imperialis scenery kits. You get a 12 inch tall building and then an eight inch tall statue of Saint Celestine with a sword in her right hand and a blazing torch in the other. And you can combine both the kits to create an impressive statue topped tower building that's 20 inches tall and the set contains 134 plastic components. So comparing it to other uh, kits price wise it's similar to the fortress of redemption which i do own i don't know whether i did a review i've, I've had it a number of years now um but that's 75 pounds and that's a uh, quite a tall um scenery uh, kit uh, the main tower for that is 14 inches high it has 91 pieces and uh, it's 24 inches wide so that's quite a big uh, kit for the price but the scenery piece i'd most like I'd most compare it to is just the Void Shield Generator. In my opinion, that was a bit of an overpriced kit anyway, but that is £65, so it's the same price, but unfortunately I can't find anywhere how high that is. Um, and I don't have mine at hand, so I won't be able to tell you how it compares sort of size-wise. You've then got the Sector Mechanicus Sterilic Factorum, which is £60. You've got the uh, Sector Imperius uh, Ballas Canum, which is 60 which I thought was quite expensive but uh, that uh, Basilicanum uh, has seven frames so one frame more and it has again 134 uh, pieces but it doesn't say how how high it is um, but it looks similar to height to this probably a little bit taller I'd love to have those kits and do size comparisons uh, for you with this I'll try and get some other scenery like the frag drill I'll definitely have that in the review for this kit. Anyway, enough of my comparing to, to other kits. Let's unbox uh, this uh, scenery piece. I do like how uh, all the new releases, like the Orcs and the Eldar and the uh, Chaos and so on, have had a, a scenery uh, kit themselves. However, all of those scenery kits have been a lot cheaper. I think the Noctilus Crown was 30 pounds or so. Um, this is, the most expensive scenery kit to accompany um, you know, a, a new army uh, release. £65, it now means that this is the most expensive Sisters of Battle model along with the Triumph of St. Catherine, if that means anything to you. So yeah, it's one of these boxes where you pull, pull the top off. Um, let's just have a look at the reverse. So you can build this uh, sort of 12 inch tall building and uh, this statue is, is eight inches uh, tall. So fair amount of detail. I like what they've done with the inside. Um, even though it's kind of ruined, they've painted it Wraithbone and Skeleton Horde. Um, I like what they've done with the, the gold and the red flooring as well. So you've got some uh, more pictures of the, the model uh, flanking the box. And let's pop the lid and we'll have a look. So you can already tell it's made in China with the black and white um, uh, construction guide. That's synonymous to, to these uh, kits. Um, they don't do them in color. So we'll have a look at this guide, first of all. It focuses on the statue itself of Saint Celestine, uh, which does look quite decent. doesn't look too difficult. Um, you've got her with the sword and, and the torch, sort of fluttering forward, um, jumping off of a like a, a platform of skulls. And then you've got the, the pieces themselves of the building. Um, you've got plenty of joins. That's gonna be a bit of a nightmare to, to see, but 
they they go in and say to build a that looks like the top part first maybe or the middle part i'm not sure yeah and then it gets a bit confusing oh that was the um the the ground floor first and then the the top floor and then that's what you've got so you've got a platform with a door there um, can you have the door open or closed? Mm, not really sure. And then you've got this uh, balcony area as well. And then you've got the rules for it as well, which, which is nice. Uh, you know, it's a PowerPoint's cost of a three. It's a single model. It can't be um, uh, destroyed or moved or anything like that. Uh, and it buffs your, your units. So... Um, great to have one. I thought it was going to be like a like a ornate drop pod that came down and you could place it and then it would start affecting your, your squads and things but no, Battle Sanctum is just a, a building and a, and a uh, statue. Okay, so that's the guide. I'll go through the review whether, whether it was any good or whether it helped. Let's have a look at these sprues then, these juicy, juicy sprues. So this is obviously St. Celestine in statue form. And there you've got these sprues here. Oh, crikey. Are these all duplicates? Yes, yes, no, yes, uh, no. Hmm, interesting for a kit to have so few duplicates then. So, you've only got two sprues that are duplicates. You've got the full six, but two out of the six are exactly the same, uh, which are the, the main walls of the, the building. You've got this accessory kind of sprue, which includes the, the pillars that hold the, the building up, uh, that support the walls, and uh, little parts of the balcony, and these incense things. There's a fair bit of detail on them, to be fair. Uh, and then you've got the more pillars and half broken walls, or and they are half bro broken walls, half broken floors. There's a fair bit of detail on, on those as well. Oh, wow, look at all that grating. Brilliant. Um, mold lines. Yeah, pretty bad mold lines either side. Not on these parts, though, it doesn't look like. But certainly on these around the edges. But uh, yeah, that looks very, very decent. Um, I like that. And then you've got more uh, walls and windows. They're all different though. This door for the balconies is different. All these four windows uh, are different. I like what they've done with the, the modelling of the window panels or the frames. Um, they've kind of modelled them so that the supports uh, in them are, are uh, sort of cut at a diagonal, if you can see that. If you can see, they're not just sort of straight, they're, they're wedged. Lovely how they've managed to do that. But yeah, look, there's a mold line all the way along down there. But luckily, there doesn't seem to be one along these lengths, which is what I was worried about. And the ones on the smaller parts are negligible. Okay, so they're the main walls and the windows of um, of the model of the Battle Sanctum. Uh, that's obviously a, her hair. That's a big torch, a brazier, big iron halo. You've got some uh, little spikes there. You've got big wings. Because she's a statue, you can kind of forgive uh, the lack of detail. You know, these aren't sanguineous his wings at the end of the day. You know, there's enough detail on them, but I would have liked to have seen this uh, with, with way more detail. Um, but when you paint it in a statue kind of colour, it's still going to have the desired effect. Uh, you've got her lovely, lovely armour there and her face and her um, long swooping robes. And then you've got the um, pillar of, of uh, skulls there and the massive, massive sword. It's a shame that there's like a hand or something on there because that would be cool to model and have, um, you know, an old dark angel wielding it. I don't know, I don't know. But um, you could get some ideas with that sword if they hadn't have uh, integrated it so well. Oh, well, you've got a foot there <laughs> and some little candles. Excellent. Well, candles which will dot all around the, um, the skulls, I guess. So there you go, uh, that is the unboxing and first look at the Sisters of Battle Battle Sanctum 
so far things look good there's uh, enough variety in all of the sprues uh, to make it worth uh, the money i will give you the full review and size comparison with other scenery kits and models of course as soon as i can so stay tuned to the channel for that um, what do you guys think of the battle sanctum at present just on face value i think it kind of is worth worth the money worth what they're asking for yeah of course it would be great if it was 40 pounds or so but um for you know for the number of sprues the number of parts uh, and how big this thing is um yeah it's a considerable scenery kit so join me for the review when i'll look into the the model itself uh, further thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects <laughs>